What time are you gonna get back? Not till the cows come home. Get it? <laughs> Hysterical. Yeah, well, that's Ivy League humor, which is why you don't appreciate it. Oh, right. I'm not as smart as the great Jimmy. Don't worry. When I'm rich and famous, I'll devote a chapter of my autobiography just to you. I can't say anything non-egotistical. Just shut up. Fine, I won't say anything. Fine. I guess there's no point. I mean, she'll just be all upset that you ever even thought of it. Just drop it, okay, Meg? I thought you still might be kind of upset. I mean, with it being on September and everything. And that is why I may do this. What the hell is it? It's a potion. I made it last night. I got one of these really cool spell books at this antique store. And I followed the recipe. And it's supposed to help you clear your head and to help you make the right decisions. I'm not drinking that. <laughs> it's too late. I put it in your slush puppy. <laughs> <coughs> the other night? I mean, don't you think you should tell everyone? I mean, about not going. I'll tell them when I'm ready. But they really look up to you. Look, I gotta go, okay, Meg? Charlie, come on, get up. You gotta come brush your teeth. Charlie. Come on, Charlie, we got Classy, I'm what's Princeton. It's none of your business. And don't go say nothing to Mom, okay? I'm serious. I never get letters. That's because you're too young. Shut up, I am not. I'm, I'm not saying I said the letter. 
Hey, Charlie. You Mom, want this? Come on, give huh? it. You want this? Give it. Give it. What's frying your bacon? Hmm? Nothing. Um, Jimmy got a letter. Really? From who? Nobody. It was some junk mail. I threw it out. Yeah, he threw it out. Hey, Charlie. Oh, Jimmy, cut it out! <laughs> Jimmy, stop it! Excuse me. Excuse me? Yeah. Um, I haven't been here in a while and I'm kind of lost. Can you tell me where Catherine Donner's farm is in Arlington? Oh, you know the Donners? Well, I am a Donner. Philip Donner. Pleased to meet you. I'm Maggie. I'm Jimmy's friend. My mom's diner, but I work here sometimes. Well, pleased to meet you, Maggie. I'm Jimmy's uncle. Oh. Oh, he didn't tell me you were coming. Well, it was kind of a sudden thing. He wrote me a letter last week and I thought I'd come and pay a visit. Funny how things work out, isn't it? Yeah. Where'd you get that? Who said you could wear this? I just thought that... Who I... gave you permission to go into my room and take his watch? It ain't doing no good just sitting in a box. Take it off. Kiddo. What are you doing here? Catherine, aren't you glad to see me? Oh, well, of course. It's just that you didn't call. I had no idea you were coming. Well, neither did I. The city was getting crazy, and I thought, uh, oh, what the hay. So I packed my bags, and here I am. Oh. You should have called. Do you want me to leave? I can go hop right back in the car. Of course not. It's just that I haven't seen you in a while. Come on in. Thank you. 
Tak. So, how's the farm holding up? It's still here. We're getting by. Because if you need any help... Now's a little late, don't you think? I know. It's been almost a year now since... I gotta go to sleep. Kathy? Look, what's done is done. Let me do what I can now. Kathy, wait. Good night, kid. They're gonna give my slot to someone else. I don't know how to tell you this, so I'll just tell you. You can't go. Yeah. That's what everyone's been saying. You wanna know why? Not really. Because people have responsibilities. That's what makes us adults. This whole thing is a lot bigger than just you, Jimmy. Don't you think your mother's been through enough already? She could hire help. It's not just about hiring help. I know. The entire land of Brandywine celebrated in the streets as their king returned to them once again, bringing with him his newfound queen. The king had been around the world, but upon seeing his homeland, he wept sweet tears of joy, for he knew in his heart that this was the most beautiful land of all. As the king sat again on his throne, he looked over at Persephone, his wife, and smiled. She smiled back, for they knew that they would spend the rest of their days together, for they loved each other very much. And they all lived happily ever after. I'll bring me another. That's it. You brush your teeth and get to bed. Come on, Charlie. You seen Jimmy? You should have been back by now. Kathy, I need to talk to you for a minute. Can it wait? No, I can't. Plans, Jim. I never thought you'd pull something like this. Never. You told her? Well, it wasn't the cows. I bust my butt for this farm, Mom. And yeah, I've been thinking about college. 
not when we can barely keep the farm running. Kathy, the boy's confused. You stay out of this. You've done enough. It's because of you, Philip. He's always wanted to be like you. No, Mom. This is about me. Don't you remember? You gotta stay true to yourself and no one else. Is this why you've come here? To poison my son's mind with memories of his dead father? You can't do this, Jimmy. Maybe in a few years. But not now. Not now. I want you off my property. Yeah. Where is that one? Is that Neem? Yeah, someone over Neem. Yeah, Moose Show was DJing. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, was too much country though. I didn't like it. So anyway, I've been thinking about applying to Princeton this fall. What do you think? What? Nothing. I was just saying I might apply to Princeton this fall. I hear it's a great school, only takes top level students. Isn't that right, Jimbo? Not today, okay? I even hear you got a full scholarship. Must be a great school if you got in. Look, you don't make fun of my school work, and I won't make fun of whatever it is you do. Oh, Billy! Come on, Billy, come on. What the hell is going Son on here? Bitch. Yeah, you go to Princeton, but don't come back to Arlington, understand? He isn't going, you idiot. He can't. <clears throat> you just made everything real clear, Billy. Registration starts Friday. I gotta be there. Mom, did you hear me? Fine. Go. Tuck. 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 <laughs> okay? Okay. Are you leaving? Yeah. It's okay. I'll take care of mom.
Guess I never told you, Jimmy, but he'd brag all the time about how smart you were. When Philip showed me the letter, all I could think about was how proud he would have been. I know, Mom. Sometimes, early in the morning, when I'd look at you in the barn, the light would hit your hair in just the right way and you'd look just like him. I'll come back every summer, and on the weekends, every chance I get, I promise. No. You come back when you're ready to, and not before then. You hear me? You were right about Dad. He always wanted you to be who you wanted to be, and not what anyone else wanted. You follow your path, and you do what's right for you. And it'll be okay. <laughs> 